right good morning welcome back to the running trucker so should we call this season two <laughs> maybe <laughs> um so welcome back um all will be explained in this video first of all i need to get going currently in um witness port in a daff which is bloody awkward So, I'm unit only. I'm just gonna let this van go first. Only because he's gonna go faster than what I wanna, I wanna go. Right, so yeah, I'm in Witness Ports. No trailer on the back. And what I'm doing today is moving empty skelly trailers which are basically container trailers. With no container on. Yeah, so what I'm doing, I am moving some of these empty ones about there's around the corner there's stacks of three so i don't know why i'm moving them but i am <laughs> again i'm just a driver let's have a look around here so the, under the um under the railway bridge and they're in this corner over here there's not that many stacks to be fair but what I'm doing is moving them over to a place in Carrington oh there is more stacks there yeah there's quite a few Right, so probably best thing to do is get this one in the middle of the ad. Actually, I think these are going for scrap. Thinking about it, because there's a lot of trailers great but I was speaking to another driver the other day and he was taking a lot of uh, great old great burr trailers to Carrington to strip down so I think these are all just old skelly trailers yes yeah, so one thing you need to do before connecting up to trailers in general but these general these trailers specifically is um, once the airlines are disconnected the brakes don't automatically come on so I want to make sure that the brakes are on before I connect up I'll speak to you in you know memento right so like I said I've checked the, uh, the brakes they are on there's a lot of metal up there these trailers. So, you want to check the load. This is supposed to be, I'll show you actually. So this is a good example of what you want to be looking for. Nice, nice and straight, nice and tight, no giving that at all and play guitar, nice and twangy. <laughs> now this one, well, to be fair, the rest of them, that is not good at all. So I don't know if they've arrived like that, because they're all zip tied up. But that's not good. That's not good at all. 
the all loose. That one, that one's a bit tighter, but it's not, it's not that tight. And that one is bad. So, a couple of minutes later, all nice and not going anywhere. That one must have not even bothered with that one. All nice and tight. That one, not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Again. All good. So this is all before I've even connected up to the trailer. I'm not going to check in every one, one of those. I'm not going to check in every one of those just yet. So, let's just get out to the air. Oh, this. The dafts. The windows don't <laughs> fully, fully open. I don't even know why they have barriers, because you don't speak to anyone. Press the button, someone opens it. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> you may have guessed, you may not have guessed, uh, but I have quit. I have handed my notice in to Stubarts. And it's not just the because of the YouTube videos, <laughs> it's a, it is a part of the reason. But um, since then, they've been very, very petty. And the way they handled the situation wasn't the best. So, um, yeah, I've been looking around and I found a job that uh, is better hourly rate. Similar or if less hours, but you're on, on a, quite a bit more money, and uh, and it's more local. And I'm not going to tell anyone where I'm working <laughs> for the time being, anyway. Um, so yeah, I've handed me notes in on Friday, just gone. This is Monday. So I've got a week, a week of stove arts and then uh, and then I'm off. So I'm not going to post any of these videos whilst I'm at stove arts. Uh, so I'm just going to get them. I'm going to post them after I leave. So I'm not against stove arts policy. It's not illegal what I'm doing. It's just against their law, their policy. It's round. It goes round the, the outside of a roundabout and not indicates at all. He does. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit strange looking at the uh, the back of the back of the trailer and seeing three trailers there. 
stacked up. So as far as I'm aware, these are going to be scrapped. Um, these are all old Skelly trailers, so I don't know if they're going to be refurbed or not. But they're pretty beat up. Uh, the checks, I've done extra checks on the, obviously the bottom bottom trailer because uh, yeah I've had to put quite a few not defects down but just a few things like uh, the back bumper is bent in it's been bashed quite a few times obviously not new so they can't really blame me on that one general rust general wear and tear Nothing illegal. So this is a bit of an easy day, to be honest. Um, I was told I was going to witness just to be shunting trailers about. I don't think the plans knew it was actually moving trailers from one site to another. Doesn't matter anyway. My thoughts were going to be a lot more boring than what it is. So, like I said, I'm just going to have a nice drive out to Carrington. With regards to them being, uh, with Storbats being a bit childish, um, like I said, I've been recording videos for like 19 months before the, 18, 19 months before the, uh, had an issue with it. And up to that point, with the planners, the drivers, even my manager, who's got an issue with it now, he loved the videos, even comments on them, you know, subscribed. <laughs> so thanks, Darren. Uh, no doubt to be watching every single video from now on to find out where, where I'm moving to. Um, so, yeah, like I say, a bit childish over the way I've been treated. Considering they had no issues with their videos for 19 months, to change the uh, the policy from just a sentence saying "do not just to defame the company" to a four-page document saying I can't even mention Storbarts or Kalina or show any uniform or anything like that is it's just a bit silly. Considering they've got a TV show out or they've had a TV show out. And then, as soon as I complied with the policy, they decided then to have an investigation. And then they decided I can no longer charge my electric car at work. Again, they've had no issue with it for 18, 19 months. Now they've got an issue with it. So I think it's one of them where you, if your face doesn't fit, it doesn't fit for anything. Yeah, a lot of little uh, silly things were mentioned. I bought the video, one video in general where I was in a white unit only. I had a jumper on covering the uniform, so I wanted to stick to the policy. And I mentioned a colleague's name, I said Ethan. Not your surname, just Ethan. Just put that camera angle up, just <laughs> for old time's sake. There we go. And um, yeah, Ethan is in front of me. Yeah, another driver in front of me. This is back into the space, so we're not taking up three empty spaces. And he wasn't even in the video, he was just back in his units, up to my unit. I said, oh, there's Ethan. Couldn't see him. They had a, quite a big issue with that. <laughs> uh, they also had an issue with me having a jumper on, covering my uniform. They also had an issue with me editing videos and not putting that in my tachograph. Even though I don't get paid for editing videos, I get paid for people watching my videos. 
which is a passive income account. Put that in the tachograph. Had an issue with me saying that I might dry, fly my drone from a public place. And no rain. I was hoping to get my drone up, basically. Um, not on site, because I want to film. There's a site over there that's uh, like a, a salvage or scrapyard. It's got like cranes and everything, so it looked interesting. But I can't see into it. I would like to have a look with my drone. Basically, that's what I'm saying. So I've brought my drone with me, but I can't do anything in the in the rain. It's not it's not um it's not waterproof. I had an issue with that. Uh, what else did you have an issue with? The issue of me earning extra money from a hobby. Did I had an issue with me earning money from YouTube. What else was there? Yeah, they, they had basically <laughs> no reasons to be angry or have an issue with anything on that particular video that they pulled. Because I worked within the rules. I was quite meticulous. I took a lot of things out that I thought they might get pulled up on. Anyway. Childish. So. I removed the video, I removed it when they asked me to, then they decided that wasn't good enough, they still want to investigate it. They said they might, give, might even give me a final written warning, which they never. <sighs> so anyway, that was the final straw, that's when I decided, you know what, time to look around. If they handle it a bit better, I wouldn't have even looked around. Look at that tailgate, it's not secured down that. Um, yeah, so let's get to Carrington. Uh, and see what's happening. It looks like a bit of a, a tight yard. I'm not too sure. <laughs> it doesn't look like a scrap yard to be fair, so I don't know what's going to happen. Come on, move along. Uh, so I'll speak to you there. Right, so we are just in Carrington now. Uh, the cyclist in the way, but <laughs> it's fine. I can't overtake. So I'm just holding back, it's fine. As you'd expect. Um, like I say, I'm just, I feel a lot better recording today and this week. I'll be record, recording all this week. Anything interesting anyway. Um, just knowing that they're not gonna get deleted. I'm not doing anything wrong, you know. So they're not gonna get deleted. It is a bit strange. <laughs> seeing the three trailers at the back is stacked. So, this postcode I've got, it just covers this one building, so I'm really hoping it's the right building, because it's a bit tight, and if I drive in and it's wrong, <laughs> hopefully I'll get signed before then. Also, bear with me as well. Um, I'm a bit out of practice with recording all the angles that I might normally record. So yeah, all my, all my old videos, they're gonna get all put back up. Probably a few days after this video gets released. Um, Yeah, probably just a couple of days after this, all my videos. Uh, there's a couple that I might keep out, just out of goodwill. Uh, there's a pickup truck there with timber going all the way out of his back of his thing. So you spun it round, it come quite close to the, <laughs> the trailer then. 
Um, so there's a couple of um, there's a couple of videos I'm going to keep out just as a goodwill gesture um, and a security issue as well, mainly because um, I know one of the videos I, I innocently innocently said this is where the empty trailers are, this is where the loaded trailers are kept and in, in a particular depot and I can imagine, I can see that how that can be a bit of a security risk it wasn't brought up in any investigation but um, one of the videos it just stood out to me that was a bit of a security risk because if anyone wants to go into one of the uh, trailers if they watch my videos they know exactly which trailers to go or which trailers to target should I say so yeah I think I'll keep that one out I'm saying turn left here it's a 90 degree left turn I'll indicate let's have a look down that rod <laughs> squib That is not a road that I'm going to be going down. Yeah, that is just a fenced off closure. Well done. Well done, Tom Tom. <laughs> the updated maps as well. Come on. There's a roundabout a mile and a half up the road. I can turn around. Right, so this was the road. It yeah, it's trying to get me down that rod. So I believe, <laughs> fingers crossed, it's the next right. It's literally just over here. I hope. This is Owen's group. So, is it in there? Owen's group. Not in there. Not going to Owen Jad. I can see that the road is parallel with this one, so I'm just going to go a bit further down. Unsuitable for HGVs. Is the HGV going down that way? Right, should have gone down there, I think, <laughs> nice and wide here. Ingle Rose Nook, that is definitely not where I'm going to be going. There should Road, that does sound where I should be going. Does sound like where I should be going. Like I said, the company is called TIP Tip. Not like a tip. Urshwood uh, Park. This is more like it. TIP Trailer Services. Trailer. I don't know what TIP stands for. It says TIP trailer services, so on the right road, literally. There we go, tip trailer services. FLX Logistics. Down here, TIP trailers. Either way, it looks like 
plenty of spaces to turn around. Famous last words. <laughs> Backing up. Like I say, that road behind me, I know, I know I can just 90 degree turn it around there. Often coming behind. Must be further down the road, down the uh, Ursha Road. Just back it around here. And then we'll uh, have a look around. <laughs> I'll ask these guys actually, I might not. Yeah. Oh, mate, I don't suppose you know where Tip Trailer Services is. Tip Trailers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a security guy there. Oh, well, you know. Ah, oh, perfect. Gentlemen, there's a sign there saying it might be down here. So. Well, it's that storage yard. Oh, I thought it is. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Gentlemen. So, yeah, if you didn't hear that, they do have a storage yard down here. But it's to the left and the security guard will let you through. This is one hell of a speed bump. <laughs> God help any low loaders going down that road. Uh, so it must be further down that road through that security barrier. I'm going to pull over here because I can hear something it's like a rock. Might be a rock in the tyre. So I don't want to push me luck. I'll get that out. <laughs> I thought it was like on. Um, it sounded like a rock. So I thought it was going to be. Raise, I raised this up so I can have a look in between these two tyres. Oh no. Day gets better. Look at this. Pretty big bar. Stuck in there on a pivot. Well, I can't drive with that. <laughs> with that there. So I need to pull that out. And if it starts releasing air, it's a new tyre job. Yeah, so I've took it out. This is the mark, and it didn't really go too far in. And there's no work coming out of it. So, it's not going down, the day continues. That's why you should always stop if you hear something in your tyres. COVID-19 security gate screening process. Somebody in here? Uh, you're right. I'm going to tip set trailer. Yeah. Before the bridge. Brilliant. Thank you.
there we go a nice big sign tip tip trailer services trailers turn left visitors straight ahead trailer park left Let's have a look. It's parking bay. Then go and check in. That'll do. Right, go and speak to you in a bit. Right, so we're out of there. Um, I'll record reversing in there on the next on the next run, um, mainly because there's another driver right behind me with another stack of three trailers, and he came in and said they're the wrong ones. I said, well, how do I know if the right ones are wrong ones? And apparently, when the container sits on the when the container sits on those type of trailers. In this occasion, if the pins are up, that means that it's been serviced. Now, how the hell am I supposed to know that if no one tells me? It doesn't really matter anyway. It's not, it wasn't unsafe to take, um, cause I've done all the trailer checks. It's not been greased up, you know. Um, don't know why the planner in the ports didn't tell me that. He just said, take the trailer that stacks three high. <sighs> so, anyway. The guys over there said they don't know why we're servicing them any in the first place because they're going to sit in that field or that yard for six months to a year anyway before they get leased out again. And even at that point, they're going to service them. So... No idea. No idea why. Yeah, they're not not being scrapped. Uh, we we lease them off tip, apparently. He was saying, and um, come to the end of the lease, we're just giving them back. Like I said, they're not bothered if it, if they're serviced or not. Anywho, um, yeah, back to the ports, and I'll um, I'll come back to yourselves when I'm back in this yard. Speak to you in a bit. So yeah, I'm booked in on this side, and the van's just driven round just to make sure I'm backing it into the right space. I'm making sure they're tight enough because they want them as tight as possible. Eh? Right, let's get it in here. I've already taken the uh, the rear reg off just because they are super tight. The last trailer went under the one before it. That's how tight they want to. Yep, yeah, so they want it. Obviously this side of the post. See what we're doing here. Let's get some straight it out because I want to make sure I am close enough to that bar border, uh, the uh, barrier. Jam. So I can scoot it around now. I 
don't want it going all the way back just up to the concrete. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna get it disconnected. Right, so we're done. So what I'm gonna do now, it's one o'clock now, I'm gonna um, go back to base before I go back to witness. I'm just gonna uh, go get some, some lunch from there. It's not a million miles out the way. And it is what it is. Stopped at services. I'll have to go on my way to get go to the services to be honest. So let's uh, head back to Appleton. And to be honest, it's going to be the same again. So um, we'll leave it there. It's glad to be back. I'm sorry I'm not as uh, smooth <laughs> as I usually am with regards to recording. It'll get better. The good news is the job I've got, um, I'll be doing a bit more recording on the road and uh, in some yards. But yeah, welcome back. Season two of The Running Trucker is out now. <laughs> so yeah, I, did, I have recorded another video before this. I'm not sure if I'm going to record. I'm not. No, I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, release it. Mainly because I've gone over the same things. I don't want to be moaning about the situation. The situation's been fixed, so I released this one and decided I'm going to delete the other one. Like I said, I've just recorded it and put it as private for the time being. But yeah, I think I'll just, I'll just leave that one there and then just release this one as my first one back. Um, I've covered everything that I needed to cover. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you on the next one.